Hi guys, my name is Hermit in the Forest. This is my unboxing of Ultima 9 Ascension. This is a Dragon Edition of uh, role-playing game of the last of Ultima games. Uh, you play as the Avatar again and uh, have to save Britannia, its inhabitants and Lord British from the evil guardian who is your enemy in Ultima 7, 8 and 9. This time um, some strange evil columns appeared throughout Britannia and those columns corrupted the shrines of virtues and uh, the corruption has led uh, to people um, behave in the opposite of the virtues so now people who were honest are now not anymore and so on and you have to of course defeat the guardian and save Britannia once again okay let's take a look at the box art this is dragon edition of the game the box is so huge I hardly can hold it that far from the camera that you can see it good Let's turn the box around and see the backside for some here for some pictures from the game and text about the game featuring third person view Okay now I open the box and let's take a look at the Dragon Edition contents. First of all, there is cloth mat of Britannia. Let's take a closer look. Here it is with rune writings. Some of the most famous locations here here is the game itself in a jewel case game disc install disc uh, Ultima collection CD this is Ultima's 1 to 8 all of those games combined and here is the soundtrack from Ultima 9 some advertising then there are uh, the cards of virtues on one side it looks li like this and on the other there are virtues with their runic writings this is probably sacrifice and purity I don't know I'm not sure now okay so eight collectible cards here is registration card games catalog from 2000 so some of Electronic Arts published games from that year Okay, what's here? Some advertisement for Nox action hack and slash role playing game next there is a um, reference card for Ultima collection read me first uh, take a look at the table of contents that is for the first eight games the bonus disc I showed you so technical stuff and how to play those eight games all the necessary info just a black and white simple manual 
here you can see Ultima 3, Ultima 5 and so on. Here are the displays of those old games and credits. Well, here is Ankh, the symbol of Avatar. It's metal. Next there is install guide of Ultima 9. Here again table of contents. Installing and technical stuff setup and so on. Yeah. So all kinds of necessary technical info here. Some contacts and key command summary. Good. Next thing, there is the tapestry of Susaria that shows us all the events that happened in Ultima games so far. On the back side there are the key bindings. Game controls. A certificate from Lord British that this is a genuine copy. A poster of Avatar. Interesting one. There is one more, but there should be only one. I have two. And well, a book, a manual, probably. It's leather bound. Yeah, this is the journal. Take a look at the table of contents. Unlike normal edition that has just a paper cover, this one has leather cover. So, journal, some letter from a friend, and yeah, this is a booklet that enhances the storytelling actually. So, yeah, here you can see the eight virtues. I already showed you the cards representing them. Something about the main hero, the avatar, and then the tapestry of the ages and history of the game world. Here are the locations of the game world that you will visit in this game. Skills and combat. Here are uh, the attributes, training and tactics, armors and weapons. Yeah, yeah some shields and bestiary, so some monsters, enemies that we, we will encounter. There is even pictures of them, as you can see. Very nice one. Music and runes. Here, place for notes to make while playing the game. So, it is the journal. And the last thing in the box is the leather bound manual that looks like this and has all the vital info about playing the game. Take a look at the table of contents. Here's the missive, how it all started. And the story continues. Something about magic and spells. Spellbook and mana. Now, important thing, the reagents that you use to Cast spells pictured here 
here are some mantras for spells and yeah here you can see some of the spells first circle is here and higher and more complex spells follow here is the fourth circle for example here are the most powerful spells from the eighth circle something about moon gates the means to travel and teleport and glossary okay and that is all that was in the box i thank you very much for watching this video